Hi Scorpio, thank you for clicking on this video. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot and um, this is going to be your love reading for October 2018. I'm going to take a look at Venus Retrograde, what your advice would be for that, what your love advice would be, and the Celtic Cross spread that I'm doing here. I want to look more at the perspective of the other person that you're dealing with. Now, if you're not dealing with someone in a love type of relationship, uh, this could be love in the sense of a family member, friend, so whoever you may have on your mind. Okay, if you're completely single and there isn't anyone, then this reading may not resonate for you. Um, if you're looking for someone, uh, this is more of just a reading to do with the person that you are dealing with, whom, whomever they may be, okay? All right, so before I start, I know a lot of you ask, the deck I'm using is the Thoth Tarot deck, okay? Um, it is large, <laughs> it's really big, so I don't have much room here to, um, Uh, spread this layout nice but I'll try to hold the cards up some of you know my camera gets a little blurry at times okay so October is uh, October is Venus retrograde okay and so what that means is this is a time for reevaluating partnerships with people okay um, whomever they may be you may need to start taking a look at your love partnerships relationships taking a look at yourself uh, how you are in those relationships how you've been what needs to be improved what needs to be let go of what can stay what can no longer stay and retrograde is the time for this to do this so if there's anything that's been on your mind um, whether you need to move on or to reconcile or to try to improve a current situation this is going to be the time for that so I want to ask spirit what they think you should be working on during this time either within yourself or within a connection okay I need to take a look at um, your blockages. You have some blockages when it comes to love. This is what the Four of Cups is. You, uh, Scorpio, may seem or come off as indifferent a lot of the time, um, or you block your vulnerability or you block your sharing of your emotions and your feelings and the question or the what you need to take a look at in yourself is asking yourself what why would you do why do you do that um, when you have offers of love coming in or certain things I, I it feels to me that you just don't I don't know if you're fearful of love or if you are fearful to be abandoned or feel fearful to be hurt or fearful to be rejected. So I feel that you, you maybe you put yourself out there a bit, but then you have to put a block up to keep yourself detached. And, and so this energy, this energy actually keeps people repelled from you right so this may be something that you need to really evaluate okay and also to evaluate if there are certain relationships that you need to remain indifferent to because it's not always a bad thing to block yourself from certain things or certain people if you feel it's a way to protect yourself it really just depends there's a fine balance to it so you also may need to make a decision if you want to continue dating or if you want to stop dating um, 
if you have certain family members who are always catering to you, are you showing reciprocity to them? Um, are you putting a wall up because you do so much for people or you feel so much that you can't let anything in anymore? These are questions that they're just coming to me that the message for you is to begin to take a look at these things. Um, you may also have a lot of people who cater to you or who want to please you and you may not be um, wishing to give your time to them and so there's something going on with that as well okay I'm not really seeing one person but I do see in this card where his arms are crossed that he is kind of smug and just um, blocking people. Some of you may just be, ask yourself if you're tired of dealing with certain types of people, if you need to make a change. Okay, so these are just, um, this is just advice and things for you perhaps to work on during this retrograde. Now I want to see what the overall energy for love is for you for um, October. Oh, it's just popped out. Interesting because... Libra just got this. Healing family issues. Okay. You have some things that occurred within your family. There's a certain family style that you learn from. And as I said in the Libra video, that um, the, our, the, we learn our love style based on our, our upbringing. Okay. Some of us didn't have good upbringing and we relearn our love style. Some of us had a great upbringing, but we are not um, living that way. Uh, something I feel for you, Scorpios, and I know this is a very general reading, but it applies, at least if it resonates for you. There's no such thing as a perfect family. And so this is a time for you to actually take a look back. Did you have a father who was very controlling or critical or overbearing? you have a mother who was that way or always putting you on a pedestal or always treating like you like you could do no wrong um, did you have a sibling who uh, was a favorite or were you the favorite and um, did that did something between a sibling and you um, put a wedge something that happened in your family put a wedge or something that happened with a family member um, I don't know exactly what your situation is, but I would take a guess, pretty, pretty good guess that there is something in your past that you've brought into your present that you're still bringing into your present. And with this card, this has a lot to do with your parents, perhaps your, the marriage, or if there was a divorce, or if your parents stayed together, but they stayed for the children but they didn't get along or there was always bickering or fighting or something that was happened is affecting you today it's affecting your relationships today and this is something that you know you truly need to take a look at during this time it, I mean you don't have to but this would be a good time to do it if you wanted to okay so let's get on with your reading um, so this again will have to do with the other person. So whoever that may be for you, what their perspective is in relation to you and what's going on with them. Now, the past position with this person, they have the Eight of Swords. So um, this this person, when I say past, it could just be a couple days ago, weeks, months, years. This person had a bout or an issue with low self-esteem. Um, this card here says interference. They let a lot of things interfere in their life. They were easily influenced, but they were always on the brink of some type of anxiety or stress. This person did not see in themselves what other people or what you saw in them. Um, they always had this feeling of being mentally trapped 
or like a self-imposed prisoner. And I, I feel like this, whoever this is that you were dealing with, that was just their energy for a long time. They felt like a victim, maybe to you or to another person or other people. And so that was really just their mentality. They had difficulty getting in touch with their emotions. Um, they were always up in their head, worrying, anxious, thinking about things. Um, even in the Rider weight deck, she has a cloth, a blindfold over her eyes. And that's reminiscent of someone who just could not see their way out of a particular situation and I feel like whoever you're dealing with in the present is now out so this is the three of cups here this person is joyous they have they feel abundant now so whatever may have happened they've absolutely gone from this very dreadful place to this place of abundance and um, the three of cups is just the energy this person is in a celebration type of a situation but this can be a card of reunion and uh, if you are not connected with this person currently to, to whatever degree there does seem to be an indication of reuniting with them now um, But I feel like they are, um, they're dating, they're out enjoying their life, you know, um, they're meeting up with family and friends, um, they're having a good time. So something triggered, and I'm actually going to take a look at the Eight of Swords again to see, um, maybe they can give me an indication of what changed for this person that you were dealing with. Now, just give me one second. I just want to um, see something here. Yeah. Um, so, the Eight of Swords... I want to bridge this. I feel that the person you were dealing with felt terribly trapped in their life or in something. So the King of Swords is here. Uh, well, so some of you may have been dealing with an air sign, okay? Um, the King of Swords is quite confident, good communicator. Um, truth they came to some type of truth about themselves and that's really what I feel I feel you know to go from the eight of swords to the king of swords they took that sword and they cut away they reduced these the eight swords down to only one they de-stressed somehow some way I feel they got their confidence back um, because they came to, they lightened up, so to speak. The King of Swords is pretty airy. They lightened up. They found some peace. And they're, so the Three of Cups is reunion and judgment can be reconciliation. So I feel that this person does want reunion, but this is a challenge to have some type of reconciliation. And it's a challenge for them to... Um, be open with you about the revelations or the changes that have happened in their life. Okay. Um, although I do feel that they wish for a happy time with you, a happy celebrate, celebratory, light energy, fun, um, an event something where there's maybe a lot of people or just being social they do wish for that for you but it's it's and it's something that would benefit them to uh, reconcile and 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 
open themselves up to you, but it's a challenge for them to do that. Now, why is this a challenge for them to do this? Okay. Because they feel um, maybe that they let you down or they feel a sense of loss or regret. I do feel that they want that reconciliation because they do miss you, but they feel hopeless about it at the same time. So there's three cups down here that are spilled, but there's two still behind them. And even though they've lightened up their energy, I feel like when it comes to you, they feel like the glass is half empty. And it doesn't mean that it is from your part, but this is how they see it. And so they don't really, they don't, they, they're, f I almost feel like, you know, they do miss you and they want to tell you the changes that they've made in their life, but for them to really open up, that's a struggle. And perhaps they would rather just reunite with you to just have a joyous time. Okay. So what's driving them here is the queen of wands. So they're in this place now of com they're feeling very confident, passionate. Um, they're popular. Uh, this can be the Leo card. It can also be um, Aries or Sagittarius. But what's driving them is their light now, their own light, their shining light. They, um, I feel this person in this is going out into the world. They are exposing themselves to other people. They are um, no longer in this terrible situation. Um, they may also have had some type of influence by a male king of swords. If you are, um, you know, this could have been a father figure or a friend or someone that maybe helped them to some degree, but as I was saying, what's driving them here is their own uh, self-worth. The Queen of Wands knows her self-worth, knows his self-worth. This person, um, queen or uh, male or female, they're living in their light now, okay? Now, when they think about you, though, they do admire you, they do place high value on you still, um, they see you as this shining car, shining coin. Sorry, this ref um, you're quite reflective, beautiful, um, bright and shiny. They idolize you to some degree, or not? Uh, they just do. It's, it's. It can be. Um, it's. It's almost in. A l it's a little. It seems a little immature, because the prince is the page, and you know that can be very useful. But they have a kind of a youthful, um, they see you as someone who's youth, youth, youthful. They see you as someone um, who, who um, when they look at you, it's like they're just in awe, okay? Um, and I feel like they are thinking about reaching out to you or messaging you, maybe to tell you this. Um, they view you as someone who is with the Empress energy, high fertility, very attractive, sexually attractive, um, motherly type figure, or, you know, um, fatherly type figure, whichever. Um, they view you as someone who is dependent, uh, independent, um, I just feel like they have this sense of like when they think of you, they, they're just very attracted to you. This can be, some of you could be dealing with Taurus or Libra. Okay, so... I almost feel like this person wants to reach out and tell you this. You know, they're thinking about it. It's crowding them. 
the near future here do you have the wheel you have the wheel of fortune so or they have there's going to be some changes between the two of you so sometime maybe mid to end of october um there's going to be some good luck happening now let me clarify to see what this good luck could be Well, someone's going to try to make a decision. I feel like it's them. They have a lot of options, Scorpio. They have a lot of um, choices, but I feel like you are the mystery. You are the one that they that has not been revealed. Um, even though there are other people in this person's life who can bring them wealth and gifts and stability and fiery energy and they have I feel the person you're dealing with has um, someone for every occasion there's an, and not that they are with them but that there's many options for them but there's something about uh, you that they're intrigued with and um, they really don't know what to choose or who to choose really um, I, but I feel like you intrigue them the most because you have a mysticism about you to some degree okay um, and you're always hiding and um, at least that's what they're thinking they want to uncover they want to find out more about you and I feel like they are not committing to anyone at this time until they find out what's making you tick and if there's any connection. Okay, so strength is here. Again, Leo. So this person is um, wanting to tame you. and control you in some way but I don't feel like it's negative control I just feel like this person wants to give you um, feel good things in order to try to help open you up or remove the cloth that is covering you that perhaps they feel you're hiding And this is a very strong connection between you and that person. So the energy of them right now is the seven of pentacles. Now this card here says failure. So there is a part of them that feels that they would fail at trying to um, get the result that they want from you. Because here, of course, as I was saying, they're looking at the glass half empty, not half full. And this is really just what's running through them at this time for October. But Seven of Pentacles can be a card of um, someone who's evaluating or um, looking to see if it's worth it really so they're not a hundred percent sure about you they have some inclination or some idea that maybe perhaps yes maybe but they're not 100 percent sure and so they, they there's a part of them that feels that it's kind of like when you're um, standing in front of three doors. One of them has the prize, you know, but you only get one choice. So you might open one of those doors and it could be the wrong move. And I feel like, or you could open the door and it would be the right move. And I feel this person is not so sure if they want to take a risk because they don't want to deal with the f with failure. And that's why they kind of, even though they're living their life and they're being happy now, 
and they want they want reconciliation they're not sure if you would take it from them or if you would or if you're you would be in that place to even move forward in some direction with them now in the position of you and your advice you have the ten of pentacles which is a card that says wealth um, stay focused on your work um, stay focused on you know of course the things that are making you feel wealthy and wealth doesn't necessarily need to represent money it can represent you know when we feel wealthy in health that we have the treasure of health or the treasure of spiritual um, stability emotional stability all, all aspects <coughs> excuse me I should have got a drink before I started wait one second So the advice for you here is to stay in a place of stability and character and, st and uh, security. Uh, I feel, Scorpio, that's what you need anyway. Seek that. If you don't feel that you are getting that from a particular person, Maybe it's time that you seek that. So here's the world card. Okay. And this is more so just telling me that um, whatever has brought you to the point that you are currently at now from your life, from your past, um, it's now time to make those changes, changes in your life. Okay. And there's also advice for you to travel, perhaps to see someone. So the signs showing up here would be another Scorpio, Leo, uh, Taurus, or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be for all of you, but some. And so it may be time for you to see that you can find security and wealth in a particular person. And it may be time for you to I'm sorry, there's an alarm going off, and I don't know where it's coming from, but give me one second, wait, <laughs> maybe it'll stop. Um, I'm so sorry. That must have been a sign for you. <laughs> a big sign. Like, hello. <laughs> you think you guys need to... Um, I almost feel like that was a sign. Like, yes, we're, this is... Hello, we're backing you up with these messages. <laughs> Whatever I was saying at the time. So maybe you need to go back and listen again. I can't remember... But I feel like it's um, time for you to put an end to things that are not bringing you the security and the safety that you need in your life or in a relationship. Now, the person's hopes and fears, they have the Prince of Swords. So they're fearing um, negativity. They're fearing harsh communication between you and them. They're fearing. Um, they're fearing that you're angry with them, because the Prince of Swords can be a very angry, aggressive type of energy. It can be very confident. Someone who's just so bold with their words and um, causes their actions to just be like so forceful. But they kind of hope that you will. Um, come after them or or fight for them in some way okay the prince of swords is the um you know what in this deck yeah that's the knight so yeah the knight of swords energy um I, I just, like I said, I feel like this person, 
is hoping that you will come toward them with truth, with your truth, and um, but not with your anger, but with directness. Because I feel like they are in this place now where they can handle that. The outcome for you and this person, the Empress again and the Devil. Um, okay, so whatever it is that you however it is that you see this person is exactly true it is exactly right about them um, you were right about them and there is a very strong attachment I don't feel like this connection is over there's definitely a strong um, maybe a, there could be codependency or an addiction or to each other sexual attraction very strong it's almost like you're both in the grips of each other and I don't honestly see the connection ending, so to speak. But this devil en energy is indicative of something that you also need to take a look at within yourself. Um, and that they also need to take a look at within themselves. Venus retrograde. So perhaps they're taking a look now too. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to leave your reading there, Scorpio. I hope that you enjoyed this little twist for October. I wish you all a very happy Halloween. And if you would like to get a personal reading from me, simply click one of the, I think there's just a link at the bottom now. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. All right, take care. Bye.